Hello, veteran 0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest 11. In the last episode, I showed off uh, Rab being my uh, partner, domestic partner, I guess, if you want to call it that. Oh man, it's kind of weird, but we did have a really funny moment on top of the cobblestone tour when he uh, dug out his um, his bunny girl magazine. That was cool. But yeah, I was doing some uh, fucking around here in the Wheel of Harma, just uh, experimenting with different setups, pondering what I think are the best setups in the game for the characters. You know, I'd have to go with this kind of setup for Hendrik, to be honest. I mean, if you're doing the one-on-one -on -one fights with Hendrik, uh, this is probably the best setup for him. Obviously, you could switch out the Uber Miracle Sword for another weapon that you want that's better, like maybe the Galaxy Axe. Although, you don't really ha you can't do uh, Uber Falcon Slash with a Galaxy Axe. You can do Parallax, though. Which is damn good in and of itself. I don't, I don't know, man. Axes or swords, you really can't go wrong with Hendrik, man. With either one. I mean, you got m way more utility with axes, obviously. And they can deal damage and, and inflict paralyze. You know, obviously, a parallax. Not parallax, but. Well, yeah, parallax. Uh, you got axes of evil with axes. And, I mean, it's just amazing. Yeah, the. Uh, sort of equivalent of the Galaxy Axe, by the way. That's what the Galaxy Axe looks like. It looks like it kind of is supposed to match the Trustin equipment. If you look at it, it's got kind of the same design and motif, I guess, if you want to call it that. Yeah, very good axe. I'm not going to use it, though. Uh, what's the sword equivalent again? The Hypernova Sword. Yeah, this sword right here... Uh, when, it, when it attacks, it has a 24% chance of reducing enemy defense when attacking. So this could supplement, you know, a character like Rab or Veronica with the sap spell. You might be able to get sap on a boss or an enemy that you're fighting, and you don't need to use sap on them anymore, which is fantastic. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really use it. I don't know. I think I'd rather just stick with the uh, with my sword here, my Uber Miracle sword. Cause that makes sure he stays healed up. So yeah, you, abilities like <laughs> abilities like double-edged slash. If you have a high enough strength, as long as you have this weapon, I mean, it makes that skill pretty much redundant. Cause the uh, damage multiplier for it isn't even better than uh, just doing an Uber Falcon slash. To be honest. Uh, but with this setup right here, this, in my opinion, is Hendrix's ultimate setup. I mean, he gets elemental defense from the shield here. He also gets 25 HP regen restored per turn with the shield, which is amazing. Best shield in the game. Best great shield in the game, for sure. Probably better, well, definitely. Probably better than in stat-wise than the best regular shield in the game, to be honest. What is the best regular shield? The uh, Devilry Drinker? Uh, I like the Papillon Mask because it makes him immune to Paralyze. Since Hendrik is your stud, you don't want him getting Paralyzed. Even though he does get 50% resist with the Cathacon Ring, um, and the Papillon Mask does that make effect, that effect of the Cathacon Ring redundant, to me it's worth it because, I don't know, for Headgear, he doesn't really have too great options Anyway, other than, you know, maybe you want to equip something like this. I don't know, you don't really need, I don't know, he doesn't really need that stuff in my opinion. Um, Hendrick, can, yeah, I was going to say, Hendrick can equip a Phantom Mask, which is interesting. So you can actually get his evasion up to 14% uh, if you decide to go with that instead of the Propellin Mask. But if you're paralyzed... You know, you can't move. I and mean, if you can't move, you you, you can't be a, an effective tank. So, I mean, I don't know. The propellant mask is just more worth it, in my opinion. Uh, Metal King Jacket. For obvious reasons. Evasion will obviously uh, be factored into the enemy attacks along with the 20% the block rate. So, I mean, this is what you want. This is what you want Hendrik to have. You want him to have every... 
way of mitigating damage at his uh, disposal and evasion will definitely help out with that especially if you decided to give him a lot of agility seeds like me. Uh, obviously Cathcon Ring and Elfin Charm in my opinion are the two uh, that pair well together. Uh, with Cathcon Ring and Elfin Charm you get 100% uh, miss a turn resistance. You know those stupid war cry abilities that enemies try to do to make you lose a couple turns. Yeah, those suck, man. You Again, you don't want your tank getting knocked down like a fucking whore at Mardi Gras. You don't want it, alright? You don't want it. And I, I just like the Warrior King outfit, obviously. I mean, it's badass. I mean, look at him. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, and then for Serena, I know Serena gets a new costume, I think, uh, after you beat the Super Boss, but I don't know, whatever, I'll, I'll get it when I get it. Yeah, I don't know, I don't want to not use this Golden Tiara, so I'm kind of using it to pair with, um, the stuff here. I don't know, it kind of makes... Yeah, it makes Sleep Confused and all that stuff redundant. I don't know, there's probably a better setup for Serena, but this is the best one that I have for her right now because it's just, you know, it is. Uh, Rab, I decided to go with all evasion setup. I mean, I could switch out the Tricksters for Capcom Ring, Elfin Charms uh, combo, but I don't need everybody to have status resistance. Right? As long as I have, you know, most of the characters, or at least half of the characters with it, then I, in my opinion, that's good enough. As long as my whole party isn't getting hit with bullshit, I can, I can stand for a couple characters to get hit with status elements. But yeah, the Tricksters, um, yeah, that's, this setup right here is best for evasion, for Rab, in the game that I found. Uh, yeah, for Veronica, I kind of have the same mindset that I had with Hendrick with the Pillin Mask. I mean, if she can't move, then she can't use Twin Dragon Lash. So, Pillin Mask. I don't know, her, her headgear options, like her best one other than that would be the Black Cat Hat. I don't know, I like this one because, I mean, dark damage is obviously something that bosses use a lot of, and that paired with the Seraph Robe will give her pretty good dark resistance along with the extra ice resistance I don't care as much about but I mean that's there too that's pretty nice uh, you could go with this to increase critical spell chance if you care about that sort of thing I don't know again I don't care about that because I don't really use spells with her all that much I don't know the Seraph's robe in my opinion the best robe in the game period elemental damage reduction 25% and then the uh, instant death resist by 50% is also fantastic. And it will pair with the uh, Elfin Charm giving her 100% insta-whack insta or instant death resistance. So yeah, having characters, and, and Hendrik has the, the same thing too by the way with, with the uh, setup he has, right? Doesn't he? Wait, maybe he doesn't. No, because he's got this instead. Oh, he's got 50% resistance. Um, yeah, this this is my favorite setup for Veronica, right here, Seraph's Robe. I guess you could switch out for maybe a Metal King Vest if you want to give her more evasion. And then you can maybe stack that with the Stellar Starflower for 12% evasion chance. If you want her to be more dodgy. I don't know. That setup is probably also good, but to me the Seraph's Robe is a better choice because it will stack with her Vim Passes. Giving her, I mean, just almost 50% elemental damage reduction from elements. I mean, that's insanely good. That's fucking insanely good. Which is one thing, because I don't have any other elementing, elemental resisting stuff on her. Again. One of the best characters in the game. I mean, you gotta look at everything, man. You gotta look at gear setups. You gotta look at potential, all that kind of stuff. Uh, for Eric, I mean, for him, I, I just kind of went with Phantom Mask, Metal King Jacket, because that's his best uh, evasion combination. I don't know, he's 
he's got some options, like with the Swindler King's gear here, like he'll get more deafness and he could steal more with uh, this one right here. I don't know. It's not better evasion than the, uh, the Phantom Mask, which I care more about, actually. Um... What else does he have for headgear? Pirate King Cap. Lightning damage reduction up to 50%. That's only one element. I don't know, it's alright. Don't want it, but it's alright. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I, I'd go with the Phantom Mask if, if I were you. But he does have some other options, like if you want more deafness for maybe better chance of... Cri uh, see, I'm not even sure if deafness even helps with critical, man. I'm not even so sure that it does. Maybe it does. Uh, and then for Jade, I got her with max crit setup, just for the fuck, the hell of it. I mean, you got options with Jade, but this right here, in my opinion, unless there's some gear that I don't know about, will give you 25% crit chance, which is, I think, the best in the entire game for any character. Period. Like, I don't think there's any character that can get higher crit chance than this. Uh, even if you decide to give Rab Golden Claws and these Assassin cards, yeah, I think he'd fall short just by the virtue of Jade having uh, her specialized gear here. But yeah, you want the Warrior's Princess headdress over the Minerva's Tiara because you get you lose crit, crit chance with this. Yeah, it's a little bit better defense. Yeah, it's a little bit better charm, but who cares? So yeah, I, I'm very glad in this version of the game. I mean, but in the original, that's one thing. In the original, if you wanted to pair these two together, guess what? You couldn't get the fucking costume. But now you can, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, I, they must have known they fucked up when they changed that. I'm glad they did, though. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess you could switch this out. If you want more defense for Jade, you could switch it out for the Zenlun equipment. Uh, you can still get pretty respectable crit, even if you have the Zenlon equipment on. And you'll get much better defense, much better, uh, resi um, status resist, obviously. And elemental damage reduction. But, I don't know, I'm just gonna go with freaking glass cannon set up for Jade. And, uh, yeah, for the Luminary, I, honestly, I mean, you can't really go wrong equipping... Erwin's armor as well. I mean, this is... I didn't plus three this, but when you plus three this, I mean, you get 20% elemental damage reduction, which is fantastic. Pairs amazingly well, obviously, with the helm. Uh, I'm just going with the Metal King jacket because I like the evasion that that provides. You know, that'll also help out with... You know, because parry is also an effect with the two-handers. So yeah, I like this setup here, and then obviously the Cathcon Ring Alpha Charm setup is uh, what I like. Uh, and last but not least, Solvando. I haven't really changed much with him, just going with Max Evasion setup. He is the evasion tank of the game, so yeah, I'd go with a setup like this uh, for defense, but then if you want to deal more damage, obviously double Falcon Knife Earrings is going to be a superior option at maximum strength. But, for defensive options, the El Stupendos are definitely fantastic because they pair well with other gear that he can equip, like the Suave Scarves and, you know, stuff like that. Wow, I've been talking for almost 15 minutes in this video. Well, I guess I'm not showing pep powers in this one, eh? Oh, I will be showing all of them. I'll be showing probably the more common ones in the boss battle against uh, Kalasmos too. I'll, pro I'll be showing Kalasmos twice. I know that much. Now, this is one thing I have to ask for those of you who have beaten Kalasmos more than once. Do you get... Is there a, a third ending? I mean, is there an ending when you beat Kalasmos the first time? And then is, is there a secret ending after that, beating him again? 
Because, I mean, you gotta beat them at least once to unlock the super boss. Is there anything else that unlocks once you beat Klasmos the first time? In this version? Just curious. Wow, oh, man, I forgot how to run through. I forgot the controls of this game. I haven't played it in like a week. <laughs> I forgot how to run. For Falcon Slash on you. Damn right, Grandpa. That was cracking. The little pearly gates. Because, like, yeah, I got a better move, Grandpa. Step aside. Yeah, Pearly Gates is pretty good, but it's not the greatest because it kind of does, like, fixed damage. It does more if enemies are really weak to holy, obviously. Like, Pearly Gates is really good on those fucking big uh, moss covered rock guys. That you'll find throughout the world, you know, those big fucking seaweed looking fuckers that have high defense. Pearly Gates works pretty good on them. Especially if you have a low de or a low strength party, you know what I mean? At this point, my characters have so much strength, you know, I mean, they, they can't get any stronger, so I mean, they're just gonna kill everything, and defense really isn't gonna matter unless you're a fucking metal. Unless you're, unless you're a fucking metal slime or something, you know? Alright, Hendrick. Let's take care of this guy. Maybe this move would be alright at high strength. Yeah, 1600. That's not bad considering he didn't get any criticals in it. I think Hard Claw has a higher crit chance though than Wild Animal. Well, that damage wasn't bad. I, n I never would have used that skill earlier on because I know the damage would have sucked at lower strength, but at max strength, that skill's not half bad. Same with Girl Falcon Slash. This isn't my boss party. This is my boss party. Although, maybe I should go with this. Maybe this should be my boss party. 
Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually curious. I haven't used this pet power in a while. I'm gonna try it again. Just to see. Oh, it's probably not gonna make that much difference. Yeah, let's use a, a multi multi target fight. Let's go with the, these two. I think this no, this doesn't cancel out his pep. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah, I haven't used this one in a very long time. Here we go. One of the better pep powers for sure, man. This one's really powerful. Um I think it basically is just every character is magical might times a certain formula times something. I don't know the formula. But it's going to be significantly more damage than just Eric's earth damage on, you know, if he just is just going to use the spell on his own. Uh, yeah, let's go with something that's not going to wake them up here. Well, that wasn't half bad. I'm full. I'm gonna wake up eventually. Yeah, I mean, it's okay. Better than I thought. I just thought it was actually gonna be in like the, the 300 to 400 range. So it's a little bit better than that. I don't know. Mate, it's still not that good. effect doesn't really matter for buffing spells unless unless let's say you cast oomph instead of oomph with veronica and she actually happens to cast it again then it does matter because you'll get the 50 percent boost as opposed to just a 25 percent boost but she has oomph so when the fuck are you ever going to cast oomph but it is kind of fun to point that out i guess right uh Oh, you're kidding, right? That actually worked. Dude, she fucking... She took that Kefrizzle spell like a champ, man. Uh... Is that what... Eric is under right now? Let's find out. I'm not even sure exactly. No, it wasn't. Oh well. Twin Dragon Lash it is. Yeah, and then this, this is why... Oh my gosh, you're killing us now. What the fuck, Eric? You clown? And you're still charmed? Wow.
Nice job, pal. How are you? Why is you the only one standing here? Oh, man. You sack of shit. Yeah. Yeah, it's fuckers, man. I should have chose a different boss fight. These fuckers are too smart. Do I get a turn? How many turns do these assholes get? I got this. You shouldn't have this. You should be fucking dead, dude. It's your fault we're in this fucking predicament in the first place. <sighs> Goodbye, you sack of crap. So what stance was Eric under in? Bedazzlement? Beguilement? I'm not even sure, man. I'm not even sure all the status ailments you have in this game. Yeah, I mean, Divide absolutely was turned against me in this fight. So, moral of the story, FUCK DIVIDE! Unless you know you're not going to be hit with status ailments. Fucking retarded. Holy shit. That is garbage damage. Oh, you're 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 like Gildiga. Well, then you must die. You do this Gildiga bullshit. Get the fuck out of here! It's my most hated boss in this entire game, and that guy's just like him, or her, I should say. Eighteen actions. Ugh. That was still a terrible fight. Awful. Uh, yeah, let's go with... Yeah, I already did Solano. I already did Eric. I already did Rab. Yeah, let's go with Hendrick next. Okay. Fall out over the housework. Well, uh, I don't know. Somebody's got to be the alpha, so I guess I'll just tell him to do the housework. Dude, what are you talking about, man? Huh? Yeah, like he's a smaller version of the statue not to be able to funny, huh? Maybe he is a smaller version of the statue not to be able to Eh? Did you ever think of that? Yeah, I mean, he wouldn't want to be like Sir Hendrick. If you're a dude, that is. If you're a woman, I totally understand you not wanting to be like Sir Hendrick, alright? No, if you're a girl that wants to be a girl, I am totally down with that. That doesn't mean I have to like everything that you do, though, of course. You know, all the little things that women do. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, I gotta go talk to the mayor, right? Or maybe I gotta go talk to Gamma, too. 
Andiamo. Yeah, I mean Hendrik was like I mean shit. He should be he should have his own house. You know, whenever he's in town, he could be like, you know, the honorary guest. I mean, considering that everybody's life should be owed to him, considering what he did. I mean, Jasper was gonna fucking murder everybody. Yeah, what I said. Yeah, man. Well, fencing? Oh, boy. Oh, boy, man. Don't even go there. Don't even go there. We're gonna be using swords, alright? Actual swords. No meat fencing allowed, alright? Oh, wait, I gotta do the, uh... Need the parts off of that. Oh, you know, it's, I'm not going to tell you anything. Us guys, you know, we, we expect others' privacy. We're not like you women. We don't like to gossip like you. That is, no, seriously, that is, that is a woman thing. That is, I'm not saying guys don't talk. I mean, sure, guys do talk. But that's actually more of a woman thing, to be perfectly honest. Stubborn? Whatever. <laughs> oh yeah? You gonna show us some, some moves, Grandpa? Hey, honey. Revenge? What the fuck Revenge. you talking about? Hide a frog just behind the clothes. What? A frog? <laughs> No, not like not like pulling pranks like you, like with with the fucking the the, the horse poo. It seems an age since of course that monster so deserved nice. it though, right? Will you be retiring for the evening? Yeah, no, Very we're well. good. Might I propose a brief stroll? Excellent. I look forward to stretching my legs. Alright buddy, let's go to the top of the mountain, have our little whatever it is we're going to do up there, our, 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 night, our nightly bonding moment, I, I don't know what the fuck is going on. It's also weird man, it's weird. Heck, it's even gonna be weird with fucking, uh, with, with some of the girls, to be perfectly honest, man. The only one that's not weird with is Gemma. And then Veronica, I mean... If Veronica stayed in her, you know, her adult form, her true form, it wouldn't be so weird. But she's kind of short, if you know what I mean. It's it's just a, it's a little weird. It's a little weird, okay? I don't know if I like them that young. Don't get me wrong. Men are attracted to youth beauty and fertility, but I'm not sure that all of us like them that young. I'm just saying. I mean, because I'm definitely one of them. I, I, like, I like girls to be a little bit older than that. <laughs> or at least have the appearance of looking a little bit older than that. I know Veronica's not really a kid. I mean, 
she is a badass. You can tell you can tell from the moment you ve you meet Veronica that she's a badass. You can tell just from her body language. And her sassiness. Yeah, and then we gotta fight these two turds again. Accept your fate. Yeah, I mean, if you want to be perfectly honest, I mean, your Falcon Slash kind of puts Sword Dance to shame, too. Because I think, I want to say Sword Dance is 0.8 or 80% of your base attack is what each hit is, while your Falcon Slash is actually full attack power four times. Uh, if you oof Hendrick, then it's actually 1.5 uh, times four, four attacks. In case you're wondering, that, those are the two formula that I remember off the top of my head. Yeah, I mean, skills like Unbridled Blade are obviously fantastic, powerful, damaging moves and skills. The problem with skills like that, though, is they only, if it's one attack and the enemy is any good at all at evading or parrying attacks, and it gets blocked, you get nothing. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a drawback of uh, skills like that. So, yeah, by the end game, uh, they kind of lose out. Sword dance is better, just by virtue of the fact that, you know, if, if it misses once, it's not the end of the world. You'll still get some damage. So this is the top of the fabled tour. Interesting they don't have Hendrik in his, uh... Draw your blade. Wait, we're gonna fight? Hmm. Please. Do as I say. Please, do as I say. Oh, now you're butt thou musting me, eh? Fine. Why do I gotta use this weak little sword, though? Where's my big sword? Yeah. I challenge you to a duel. On guard. Holy shit, we're fighting all night long? I think we're gonna be tired. You have grown mighty indeed. Forgive me for the suddenness of my challenge. Sometimes words will not suffice. Sometimes the sword speaks truest. Your sword speaks of your kindness. Your strength. Forgive me that I ever doubted you, that I dared to call you Darkspawn. These are crimes beyond reckoning. Sorry, right, man, I'm over that sorry. I pledge once more to be your sword, your shield, your unswerving companion. Until such time as my crimes have been atoned for. May the bond between us never be broken.
Alright. Kinda sucks I didn't get to use my nice big sword for that duel, but hey, he didn't get to wear his... His nice armor here for whatever reason. Gotta say about Hendrick, lady. Oh, I don't think I believe you. I think you're a fibber. And all these fibbers. No, actually, that was one of the better uh, scenes. I mean, we kind of seen that scene already like two or three times before in the game. But hey, whatever. If Hendrik wants to keep swearing to be my sword shield constant companion and all that jazz over and over again, fine. little picture oh I wish there was just a little bit more in these pictures to differentiate from them them from each other because it seems like a lot of the the characters are do the same stuff in these but whatever it's fine I guess um oh shit it's nighttime Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna end the v oh, maybe I gotta, nah, yeah, 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 I'll just end the video right here. That's all for this episode of Dragon Quest XI. In the next episode, I will be showing off another character's wedding, if you will. And uh, eventually here, we'll get to the point where I'm gonna be taking on Klasmos. Um, but yeah, I, I think I'm gonna wait until I do all that wedding stuff first. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.